Section seven, the last one, it is about pathways to parenthood. Uh, we all know that due to changes in social norms and I mean, due to lifestyles, women would prefer to just postpone having children. This can actually cause for infertility um, and risk uh, for having babies uh, with a typical uh, problem. So, uh, first of all, we have to define what can be uh, infertility. It can be any sort of failure in conception after 12 months of trying uh, without using any sort of protection or prevention. Um, so, we cannot say that uh, a couple, they are just infertile um, if they would just try for six months. It, um, it has to be a period of a year, like 12 months. Um, so, to tackle any sort of infertility problems, parents prefer uh, use some assistance. Um, assisted reproductive technologies or arts, um, they can be IVF. I guess you heard about that. Um, donation, like egg donation or sperm donation or uh, surrogacy. It just depends. Uh, but, like, the most popular ones are IVF nowadays. 1% of uh, Western's uh, birth are IVF. Um, IVF. Uh, it has 29% of success, which means that it has 71% of failure and it is expensive. I mean, all of them, they are just kind of expensive, but IVF is just more popular. So effects of uh, having arts or assistance, um, higher likelihood of multiples, which is so funny and cute. Cause like those couples, they were actually expecting for a while and suddenly they have like five babies, one, I mean, all together, it is crazy. Um, the downside is it can increase the likelihood of having preterm babies or uh, low weight babies, uh, which is just kind of a stressful because again, um, parents they actually um, was just waiting a lot for having a baby and the baby would be preterm or low weight so they have to just uh, be really anxious i mean they might be really anxious and stressed um but hopefully it's going good so yeah so far there wasn't any evidence of um having like uh, a baby through arts and having like any negative consequences of that, like psychologically or mentally. It seems like, like those babies also can develop same as uh, typical children and uh, they are actually typical. So there is no negative consequences for that. One reason for that is there is not enough research to actually, because like the whole procedure is just so new and um, there is not a lot, uh, a lot of evidence actually showing whether this way can just bring any sort of negativity for children or not, physically or mentally. Adoption is always an option, um, but like there should be some rules for adoption. For example, biological parents, they have to be honest. They have to just actually mention the actual biological problem um in their child for example if they do have some um cancer background like some some sort of disease in their background they have to just uh be honest and just mention that before uh giving away their children uh adoption i mean adopting a child um in um older age um might have um i mean might be problematic because like um those those children, they are just um, kind of adults. And um, so it, it might bring some sort of psychological problems. A good example of that uh, is Deja. It is actually coming from uh, This Is Us. It's a show. Um, I guess it was from NBC. I really like that um, the girl was just um, a teenage. I guess she was just 15 when she was adopted. And she had a lot of psychological problems. Uh, when she joined uh, to the new family, because like she suffered a lot from um, whatever her background was. And uh, when she joined, she could adjust, um, actually put herself together and just adjust with the new situation. Both parents, like new parents and her, they were just all suffering. But at the end, they actually made it. But the story is adoption is 
in older age always can cause, not always, but most of the time it can cause some sort of behavioral and psychological problems. So we are basically done uh, with chapter three. You have chapter one, two, and three to study for your test. Read the study guide and make sure uh, you are on top of that. Please email me if you have any question. And oh, one last thing. Uh, before your test one, which is like on Monday, you have to finish your quiz uh, for chapter three. So, and, and you do have a discussion post. Um, don't forget about that. And yeah, I guess that is all. Good luck.